Shamai, welcome back to another episode. There's only two more left of these of Pure West Radio and Lone Rush Pembrokeshire in the Minidiad as we are coming towards the end of, of the course. We've done the last two units today. The other two weeks that we've got left are purely revision to prep you for the exam that's coming up after half term, which is not very far away. Today, or this week even, we've gone through lots of exam prep, including um, reading, which we do a little bit of uh, for the speaking exam. But what we won't be doing for the exam is the writing because of COVID and the fact that we can't get workbooks and we can't fill in the sheets. So we're only going to have the talking exam which I'm looking forward to. We watched a video earlier on in the week with Bidig of someone called Alex who agreed to let herself be filmed for her exam. <laughs> it's like a, a what not to do in your exam and it's real and you it the exam is quite self-explanatory but if you try and overcomplicate it or you try and be a little bit coin a bit cute with it um you are going to run yourself down to a bit of a of a dead end lane so the key tip for Min for Minidiad for the exam is keep it simple we already know what's coming up so we know the format there's a dialogue there's um will be asked questions which will have two supplementary questions and then we're given a picture and some phrases that we need to answer questions on. And then we ask five questions based on words that are given to us. So we know that. So as long as we learn kind of basic structures and basic answers, we should be A-OK. -okay. And I have full confidence that everyone in my group who's putting, putting forward for the exam is it's going to do A-OK. -okay. Even now, when I stumble over some questions and some answers, I'm not worried. I'm not fretting that I won't be able to do this exam in a couple of weeks time. Everything will be fine. So if you're doing this next year and you get to this stage and you're getting tense and anxious about the exam that's coming up, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Talk to your tutor, get a list of your, muta of your mutations. I think that would be quite helpful. I might do it, I haven't done it yet. But to know those soft mutations and nasal mutations, we don't need aspirate for the exam, but it's nice to have them all together, isn't it? If you're gonna learn them, you might as well learn them. And um, today we went through 13 times by four, whatever that is, um, questions um, with Richard. And they're questions. And so we've done this card game before with other units. There's, there's four revision units, and this is one of the revision units, uh, the game Olgardiae. And um, I was really pleasantly surprised with how well we all got on. Because when, when this first revision exercise comes up at about week six or eight it's quite early on where you revise the first couple of weeks of units where we're like drilled learn these like go home learn them write down write down answers this one has just kind of crept up it's just arrived and yet we were all able to answer the questions even though it's past tense there's future tense in there which we don't really need for the exam and um yeah we we, we played it good and proper with, with cards Richard was there with his cards and um we all we all answered our questions and yeah, the, that mantra of keep it simple and use the question to formulate your answer is really, really important. So if you listen carefully to the question, if it's a Beth, Sit, um, Blair, you can probably make up most of the answer by using the phrase that comes after it. So that's, that's something to, to consider when you're going forward. We also went through a massive dialogue as well today and matching up sentences the beginning of sentences to the the latter part of the sentence as well which sounds really simple when doing it here but when you're doing it in a different language you need to know about um the past future and present tense and if all you've got is cried e like there's 30 of them there's there's 30 beginnings and 30 ends it's like well ride e ride e what and it's ride uh, we went for ride e wind um Ridey uh, Chivind, you must go. Yeah, because it's he. Uh, but then Pride, just Pride by itself was was already there. So it was, it took, you know, you have to think about it, but we did it. And we worked together as, as, a, as a team to, to collect them. And with, with enough time, 
you can achieve anything. And then we've done Ride EV. I've just mentioned Ride EV there, which is I must do something. Well, today we had some structures as well, which was I had to. So a bit of past tense, which is simply changing the uh, Ride EV or my, my, my Ride EV to Roid. Roid Ride EV Bind at Binyai Mas. I had to take the bins out, which is quite fitting because, well, not, I haven't, <laughs> but it is bin day today when I'm recording this. Um, so back again. If you're watching this, back again for another two weeks um, until half term. The term does follow the same pattern as the schools, as far as I'm aware. Um, we'll have half term, so we won't see them for a week, our tutors. And then we'll be, we'll be thrust out into the exam. We'll get a Zoom link at some point. And uh, it looks like everyone in our group is doing the daytime exam. And uh, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's, we've got... Two, four, six. We've got eight hours of revision to go before that exam. Easy, 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 easy. If you want to know more, by all means, put a comment where you see this, uh, where you see this video, or check out um, uh, learn learn Marsh Pembrokeshire, uh, learn dot Wales uh, dusky dot com like, and um, yeah, but find out how you can get involved because they're going to start enrolling now for next year uh, from September. So hopefully. I'll be graduating to the Sylvine, the foundation. But if you're interested in Minidiad, the entry, entry level, um, then give it a go. I've been doing the fast track, which is two years in one. But I know some friends that are doing the the course in the ordinary fashion. They're on unit 12 after, after one academic year. But in a way that if you're a learner that really likes to understand and delve into it and know what you're doing before you move on, perfect. This Two years in one is perfect for me because my attention span is itty bitty. So I've been able to get through the whole unit, the whole two year course in one. It's intensive. It's, it is four hours a week. Um, but here I am about to take an exam where hopefully I'll be able to say I am officially Minidiad level speaker of Welsh, which is something that I'm quite proud of. So hopefully, touch wood, we'll be fine. Until next week, hold out.